let's talk about some of the issues because for millennials and a lot of people our age, the number one issue is the economy, jobs, trying to mm -hmm. uh, be able to provide for themselves. A lot of the millennials now are known to stay with their parents now so they can build up their finances so they, they'll be prepared to uh, move out and start their own families. What, as a Hillary Clinton supporter, what makes you so sure that she's prepared to advocate for millennials as it relates to the economy? I think in regards to economic concerns that Clinton has really showed that she cares about people at all levels mm -hmm. um, and that she, she really is going to create policy that supports a wide variety of people economically. I think that with her uh, support of minimum wage laws, that that's a, mm -hmm. a big factor for me and a big draw for me. And we've seen that they've been successful in Washington mm -hmm. state that has the highest uh, required minimum wage. Mm -hmm. They are ranked number 14 in terms of uh, the state equivalent of GDP, and they have a lower unemployment rate. But, but do you believe Hillary Clinton, because th there's been leaked footage uh, of audio of her saying that she has a private and a public position. So the question that many young people are saying, is she really going to give them free college? Uh, is she really going to support uh, uh, the minimum wage and all these other policies that she claims to support, that millennials support? Um, is that really true? Sure. I do think that she supports those policies. I don't think if all of that all of them will be able to realistically be passed. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't think that free college is going to be a policy that's approved through the House and the Senate and that's mm -hmm. passed. But I do think uh, that Clinton, if she's elected president, will fight for things like a minimum wage law and for economic policies. So do you believe her? Yes. I do. What I about do. you, Antonia? Do I believe Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Your candidate. Your candidate. My candidate. Um, so when it comes to free college or, or to college in, in general, mm -hmm. um, I think that he, Donald Trump has been pretty good about staying away from that in general, which might have hurt him as well with millennials because he's not talking about tuition and, and stuff like that. Um, but Talk I think about maternity leave. He, he, he does, and Ivanka Trump so has talked about that as well. How does that make you feel as not only a millennial but a libertarian? Because I don't remember libertarians, you know, supporting free uh, daycare. Yeah, so actually, and with Ivanka Trump, so she talks about tax credits. Mm -hmm. And that's actually something the Independent um, Women's Forum has actually helped the Donald Trump campaign with, to say that, no, you can't mandate what like Hillary um, Clinton wants um, for you know work, the wage gap and for um, parental leave. But more so, you can have tax credits that help after the fact. Um, so it doesn't make it that a business has to be able to um, provide that for someone who doesn't need it and, and, mm -hmm. and hike their their premiums because of that as well. Do, do you trust your candidate when he says that uh, he, he's going to help young people? Though? Do, you, do you trust that he's going to advocate uh, as it relates to the economy? Do you believe him in his policy stances, though? You know, when it comes down to it, in the end, I believe that the best way for millennials to be able to to, to progress and to do the best that they can is for the government to get out of the way. And so um, if he is able to make the decision to allow us to be able to Do you think he's advocating the way, for, the young, uh, for the government to get out of the way, though? You know, I don't, I don't think that he is in the best way possible. And I'm, I'm hoping that once he's elected, that people like the Heritage Foundation, um, like Cato, like you know, these limited government institutions and think tanks will come to, to, to the forefront and help him make decisions and policies that are going to be good for the Republican platform, and that's limited government.